I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything I'll tell you in this video what I plan to do with this North Face jacket, and it is not going to go easy on this jacket. In fact, it's a continuation of what I've been doing to this jacket all along. You can see there's spray foam all over it here. I've got there's burn marks all, all up and down it. It's scuffed. It's ripped. It's got stains all over it. Yeah, I'm just going to continue to wear it because I'm not going to toss away my clothes because of some marketing campaign. I used to work in marketing, and marketing is completely disconnected from the products that these places are selling, for better or for worse. If you like an ad and you think that this ad is really hot and sexy, that doesn't mean that the product is of any quality, if the, if the product's going to be hot and sexy for you. If you see an ad and you just think that it's gross, it's like some dude in a dress and that really turns you off, that doesn't have anything to do with the product. So I'm not going to allow marketing to influence my choices for negative, uh, in a negative direction or in a positive direction. In fact, North Face, I know at the moment people are kind of turned off, you know, because there's some dude and he's, you know, walking around in the dress and, you know, that's really problematic for a lot of people. For me, you know, I honestly don't care. If you're a guy and you want to wear a dress, you know, it's, it's awkward, you know, especially the, the dress that was shown in that, uh, that ad. It was just, you know, I mean, you're not going to go outside in that. That's ridiculous. Uh, I think the most offensive thing about that ad to me is that, you know, I, I guess the guy is supposed to be, he's supposed to be gay or something, and, and it's just like this, you know, gratuitous, like, vomiting of this on you. Like, is that, is that what you gotta look like if you're, like, a gay guy? I, I know lots of gay people, and none of them walk around in, like, silver dresses out in the middle of <laughs> the wilderness just looking ridiculous like the, the guy in that video looked. You know, that was the offensive thing to me. And that's what all of this kind of woke advertising, what I think is offensive about it, you know, whether it's this and it's like, well, if you're gay, you must wear like the spacesuit dress and, you know, walk around in full makeup with the giant hair, you know, e even when you're, you know, going uh, hiking out in the woods or like with the Bud Light stuff. It's like, you know, if you're a guy that thinks that he wants to, you know, behave like a woman, you know, that you, uh, you got to act like some kind of a ditz. I mean, like the guy was acting in those like Bud Light ads, like, like the stereotypical offensive kind of woman character. So I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but <laughs> like, if you had a woman act like that in a, uh, in some kind of marketing, people would be like, oh, that's such a cliche, like, like dumb blonde kind of like woman character. But if it's like a, a dude dressing as a woman and, um, you know, portraying that same kind of like, oh, women don't know about sports and all this other kind of stuff, you know, apparently that, that's, uh, that's not offensive. But anyway, I don't really care whether the marketing is offensive to me or not. And again, I just, you know, I don't really care. You know, you're a dude, you want to dress up with a, you know, in a dress, that's fine. You know, I, I really don't care. You know, don't like go shoving it all in people's faces or whatever, or trying to like harass people about it. But like, you know, you do you, I do me, and that's fine. And, you know, I don't really care what people are putting together in their marketing campaigns. This isn't the first time that North Face has done something that, you know, some people didn't care for. In fact, uh, I've been wearing North, these, uh, these are Denali jackets, uh, you know, that North Face makes. And I've been wearing this type of jacket for like 20 years. They, they, the first time I ever saw them was in 1995. And I got a jacket that looked just like this, pretty much. Uh, and I wore it and people thought it was like the stupidest looking thing. I, if you can believe that, like 20 years ago, a jacket like this was like really weird looking. I, I forget what people wore back then, but I remember when I was walking around wearing this uh, North Face Denali jacket, people were like, you know, what, what, like, what is this kind of weird like space suit costume thing that you're wearing? Like people thought it was a really weird jacket, but I liked it because it was, uh, it was rough, it was rugged, it was comfortable. Uh, it was, you know, good for camping. Uh, you know, it's, it's got like these uh, areas that kind of, you know, shed a little bit of water. You know, it's just a, a nice made product. So I didn't care that people thought that it looked stupid back then when I first started wearing it. I wore it because I thought it was a good product. Uh, fast forward a couple of years and North Face started to get a bite. People like me that I guess were trendsetters uh, got people hooked on this look. 
and people wanted the look. They didn't really care that the jackets were well made or anything like that. People just liked the look. And then it was this this thing where uh, you know everyone was trying to get face jackets. That's what they were calling them. They, you know, it, people. You know, there are only so many hours in the day, you don't have enough time to say the north before the face. So everyone was talking about like, yeah, yeah, I gotta get one of them face jackets. Everyone was doing, the, they called them the bubble face jackets. It was the, the, the ones with all the, the, like the padding and they were kind of bubbly looking. And, and, and these, it was like a trendy thing. You know, you wanted to have these face jackets. And at that point, I started feeling like, ugh, you know, I don't, <laughs> I, I was caring about the image back then. This is when I was younger. You know, today I don't care anymore. Uh, but you know, when I was younger and like it started to become this hot trendy thing, I remember you know the uh, the logos on these jackets. Uh, this one's red, but they all used to, always used to be white. So they, there was a white logo on there. I actually took a sharpie and <laughs> I went over the thing just to kind of like you know make you know, make it more dimi uh, diminutive, kind of make it so it wasn't screaming in people's faces because um, I didn't want people to feel like uh, or to think that I was. You know, I jumped onto this trend and it's just, you know, I just wanted to have one of these North Face jackets because that's like the hot thing to have. So this isn't the first time that North Face has kind of uh, moved into a different way of presenting themselves that, uh, you know, I haven't been, you know, cool with. Because North Face, re uh, North Face really responded to that and they started pumping out like just a lot of crap. And I, I've always felt these Denali jackets were well made. So I, you know, I've kept buying them even though I felt like, you know, a, a lot of the way that they were marketing their product was to like, you know, yuppie that just wants to like walk around the park and it's like I need like an $800 you know uh, a double layer Gore-Tex jacket for like you know walking around some city park somewhere <laughs> you know I, I I was never down with that kind of a, a marketing campaign but I kept wearing the stuff because it's good quality and that's what I'm gonna always continue to do don't allow yourself to be influenced by marketing I used to work in marketing uh, you know we're not your friends in marketing you know we just say whatever you want to hear or whatever we think you want to hear, uh, and it, it has no connection with the reality of the product. You know, North Face has made this marketing campaign because I, you know, I, I don't honestly know what the culture is in those places uh, uh, at this point. I, uh, I think they kind of are a little bit detached maybe from reality because you know, they're doing these things because they want to make money. That's all they care about. That's all they care about is making money. So, uh, you know, whether it is, you know, having like a dude in a dress in their, uh, in their advertising or, or whatever, you know, honestly, I, I find what I find uh, offensive is like all the stuff that's like, you know, if you want to be a real man, you know, yeah, you should be wearing North Face stuff. It's like, I find that just as offensive. It's, it's just, just, just as stupid because it's just all stereotypes. It's like, uh, you want to be like a, a high quality person, you got to be like a dude in a dress. That's what like the last bit of marketing was saying. And then, you know, prior to that, it was all like, you want to be a high quality person, you got to be like, you know, this, this like asshole dude that just like, you know, is a dick to everybody all the time. You know, it's always like, just like image being th uh, shoved in people's faces and it's all stereotypes. And I don't care whether it's a, st you know, the stereotypical like guy in drag with, you know, huge hair and a silver dress, if it's that stereotype, or if it's like, you know, the guy who's got like his lumberjack, uh, you know, plaid shirt on and I don't know, you know, like the stereotypical like Giga Chad kind of jackass guy like you know to, to market your product all the marketers care about is getting money and whatever way they are thinking that that's going to work for them that's what they're that's how they're going to create their advertising uh, you know so the fact that you know they're doing it presently in a way that like doesn't appeal to you you know who cares you know it's not like they were your friends before and like you know now it's like dude you know you've changed <laughs> you used to be cool whatever you know the companies they were never cool they, they were never your friends. They are an entity and they are, they're made up with people. And I guess you could be friends with the individual people, but uh, you know, the company, it is a machine. It is a machine that is there to make money. And you know, the marketing is it's, it's uh, you know, clause for getting that money in. And you know, some people think, you know, well, it, you know I, that claw appeals to me and this claw doesn't appeal to me, but it's, it's all just claws. It's all just machine. And it, it, is, all, it is all just trying to gobble up, uh, you know, money and resources. So I'm not going to get rid of any of my uh, North Face clothes anyway. I'm any more than I'm going to get rid of, you know, this or that or whatever, because you know, North Face can't lose me as a devoted customer because they've never had me as a devoted customer. I get their products because I think that they're good, as long as I think that they're good, and after that, I won't. I mean, there are certain companies that I, uh, you know, try not to, uh, 
uh, give money to because they are doing things that I think are you know harmful, uh, you know like. Uh, animal testing. Occasionally I'll care about that kind of thing, but in terms of like, you know, whether they're going to have like a, a dude in a dress walk around in the woods, it's like, honestly, I could care less. And I think you should care less. Who cares? You know, uh, marketing is there to try to get your money. And if you don't like the ad, who cares? If you like the ad, who cares? You know, <laughs> don't get stuff based on the ad, get stuff based on whether or not this is a good product. Uh, and, uh, and that's kind of the end of the story. So I'm keeping my coat until I wear it into the ground and then I'll get a new one. If it's from North Face, because they still make good quality products, it'll be from them. If it's from someone else, maybe it'll be from someone else. You buy the products, not the companies. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, YouTube preppers. If you're unconvinced by my argument and you still want to get rid of your North Face clothing, but you want to stay warm this winter, here's a video that'll show you how to do that just using random summer clothes you may have kicking around your house.